Windows 10 is the most versatile and feature-packed operating system, but that's not to say it's not without its flaws. I'll go over the settings in several categories you should consider changing to improve your overall experience with Windows 10. One, Windows Update Settings. Press the Windows key plus the letter L for Windows Update Settings. Choose Update and Security. In the Windows Update tab, click on Change Active Hours. By doing this, PC won't restart without notifying you when you are working. Now on the Advanced Options, click on Delivery Optimization. Microsoft claims this feature will speed up the process of getting updates if you have an unreliable internet connection by allowing downloads from other PCs instead of Microsoft servers. Being a cynic, I think it could be a clever way for Microsoft to pass off its bandwidth responsibilities, which could possibly leave you with a higher bandwidth bill. So I turn it off immediately. Two, turn on System Restore. If your PC is misbehaving due to a corrupt system setting or a bad driver, or for any other reason, it's best to restore your computer to a previous state. Go to search box and type restore point. Click on create a restore point. You should be in the system protection tab. Here, click the boot drive, which is generally C drive. Click on configure and turn on system protection. I recommend that it is set to no less than 5 gigabytes. Click on Apply and then OK. 3. Change default program. If you don't like using the default programs, you can easily change those. Using the Settings app on the Settings home screen, select Apps in the left plane. Click on Default Apps. You can change the defaults for email, maps, music player, photo viewer, video player and web browser. Change the browser. Click on Microsoft Edge. If you have a preferred browser already installed, just select it from the list. And that's all. 4. Reopen Apps. If you're ever forced to restart your PC due to excessive lag to clear out the system memory, Windows will automatically reopen the programs that weren't shut down prior to rebooting. Doing so will tie up resources when your system restarts. Go to Settings Home screen and click on Accounts. Select Sign In options in the left plane. Now scroll down to the Privacy section and toggle off Use my sign-in info to automatically finish setting up my device and reopen my apps after an update or restart. Now you can just open the programs that you need after your system has loaded. 5. Disable Cortana What really slows down Start Menu is Cortana Search. Let's run a quick search and you will notice that there are web results from Bing for the keyword. This takes a lot of time and resources which are completely unnecessary. You want a file from your computer, not information about the topic from the internet. So, let's disable Cortana first. Search RegEdit in the search bar and hit Enter. Now, click on H key underscore local underscore machine. Now click on Software and then Policies. Click Microsoft and then right-click Windows and then New Key. Name it as Windows Search. Right-click on it to add new D-Word value. 
name it as Allow Cortana. Now, restart your PC and the changes will reflect. 6. Privacy Settings Windows 10 is the most invasive operating system in terms of privacy. But there are ways to reduce what information they have on you. In the Settings app, select Privacy in the General Settings. There are four switches, just turn them all off. You don't need any of these turned on for your system to run properly. I'll go over some optional settings that you might want to turn off. In Speech Inking and Typing, you can turn off speech services and typing suggestions. Read the description to determine if this is something you want to do. In Location, you can choose which apps have access to your location. Selecting Account Info, you can choose whether to allow apps to have access to your account information. Seven, Personalization Settings. Let's look at the personalization settings that make Windows 10 easier to look at. Right click on your desktop and select Personalize in the left plane. Select colors here. You can choose to automatically pick an accent color based on your background or choose one of the many colors listed below. Scrolling down a bit, check the box for Start Taskbar and Action Center and the box for Title Bars to add some more color to your life. Just below that, a setting I always change right away when getting a new PC is the default app mode. Windows is usually set to light, but I find dark is easier on the eyes. In the left plane, select Themes. Choosing a new theme is a quick way to change the overall look and feel of your PC. They usually include wallpapers for your background, new colour schemes, and sometimes they change the sound scheme and mouse cursor. You can find more themes, just simply click the link that says Get More Themes in Microsoft Store. There's a ton of themes to choose from. 8. Storage Sense To keep the garbage on your PC from piling up and to save space, you should enable Storage Sense. In Settings app, select System, then click on Storage in the left plane. You can turn on Storage Sense here, but first click Change how we free up space automatically. Toggle it on. Storage Sense will run automatically when your disk space is running low. Or you could hit the drop down arrow to have it run every day, week, or month. I prefer every month. In Temporary Files, you can have it delete files in your recycle bin along with files in your downloads folder. I'll set the recycle bin to 14 days and the downloads folder to 30 days. You can also click the Clean Now button to run this utility at any time. 9. Disable OneDrive If you don't want to use the Microsoft OneDrive storage app which comes pre-installed in Windows 10, there is no quick and easy way for the average user to uninstall it. But you can easily disable it to make it disappear. In the system tray, right click the OneDrive icon, select settings. Make sure that you're in the account tab and click unlink this PC. Go to settings tab. You would want to uncheck the box to the left of start OneDrive automatically when I sign in. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it's useful for you. What settings do you change immediately when setting up your new PC?